you are going to Marrakesh in Morocco and you have heard there are beautiful gardens there and you are wondering which one to choose and visit. Oh, you are not going to Marrakesh. You don't intend to fly to Morocco at, at all. Well, then this video is for you because you don't need to even leave your home to see five of the most famous gardens in Marrakesh in the next 15 minutes. Hi, Sebastian here. On my channel you will find a lot of useful practical information that will help you plan your trip, your travel to unique places even better. Today a concrete presentation of five green vibrant gardens located in the hot African city of Marrakesh. I will take you to each of these places. I will start with the most famous Marjol Garden and uh, I will end with my favorite garden in Marrakesh, which is the Anima Garden. The Majorel Garden was founded almost a century ago by the French painter Jacques Majorel. In 1980, Yves Saint Laurent and his life partner Pierre Berger became the new owners of the place, developed it and enriched it with new plant species. Today the Majorel Garden is probably the most famous garden in Marrakesh. Its area is less than one hectare, so it is a relatively small garden, but very abundant and vital. You can admire cacti, bamboos, water lilies and palm trees there. In total, about 300 species of plants from around the world. The unique deep blue color promoted by the creator of the garden and known as Blue Majorelle creates a striking harmony with the greenery of the plants. In the garden, in the artist's former studio, there is a Museum of Berber Art. This small museum presents 600 exhibits related to the culture and tradition of very first inhabitants of Morocco. Absolutely worth seeing, excellent museum. Unfortunately, there is forbidden to take photos and filming there. In the garden, there is a cafe, a bookshop and a boutique with stylish clothes and jewelry. Tickets to the Majoral Garden and the Berber Museum can only be purchased online. There are no on-site ticket sales. It is worth booking them in advance because this place is very popular. The best time to visit the garden is in the morning, the first hour right after opening. This way you will avoid crowds of visitors. The prices of admission to all the presented places are given in the description of the video below. The Cyber Park Arsat Moulay Abslam is just a 10 minute walk from Jemalfna Square, a perfect place to take a break from the city hustle and bustle. The main entrance is on Mohammed V Avenue. There is a small museum of telephony right behind the entrance. Both the entrance to the garden and the museum are free. The origins of the garden date back to the 18th century, when one of the sultans gave it to his son as a wedding gift. Since 2005, after several months of revitalization works, this vast garden located in the center of Marrakesh delights anew. The revival of the garden was possible thanks to the support of the telecommunications company Marak Telecom. The garden's 8 hectares are home to many species of trees and shrubs. At most of them you can find information plagues with their names. There are many shady spots in the park that encourage relaxation and reading. The entire garden is a safe and very well kept place. 
There is a rose garden and fountains. There is also an amphitheater where artistic and cultural events are organized from time to time, and a playground for children. The garden is adapted for people with limited mobility. Free wireless internet access is available throughout the garden. And one more useful information. Right across the street is the Craft Complex, an institution that brings together craftsmen of various specialties. This is the perfect place to look around among Moroccan handicrafts and do some successful shopping. I recommend it to everyone who is tired of hangling and the noise of the Medina. Great selection of products at reasonable prices. There is also a nice cafe and restaurant on site. The Secret Garden is located in the heart of old Marrakesh. It is like an oasis where you can find peace and freshness and take a break from the hustle and bustle of the maze of crowded Medina streets. The Secret Garden is part of the complex that was built over 400 years ago. In previous centuries, it served as a residence of many powerful and influential families. Unfortunately, in the second half of the 20th century, it was neglected and badly damaged. Fortunately, it has been recently renovated and for the first time in its history, it has been opened to the public. The complex consists of two courtyards. The first one is smaller and it is brimming with greenery of various species of trees and shrubs. The second courtyard offers more space. It is dominated by citrus and olive trees and herbs. There is also an exhibition that presents the history of the place. Multimedia presentation emphasizes the role of water and the garden in the local tradition. There are two cafes in this courtyard, one right next to the garden and the other with a terrace on the way to the tower. Entrance to the tower is optional and at an additional cost. This highest available viewpoint in old Marrakesh offers a unique view of the terraces of the Medina. The Menara Gardens were founded in the 12th century and, like the Medina of Marrakesh, are listed as a UNESCO heritage site. They are located away from the traffic and hustle and bustle of the city so they are an ideal place for strolling. They are open every day and admission is free. The gardens cover an area of nearly 100 hectares. Most of the gardens are olive groves. The trees are planted in regular rows. On the weekends you can see a lot of people who come there for a picnic. The central part of the gardens is occupied by a huge water reservoir, to which water is fed through underground canals from the nearby mountains. At the reservoir, you can meet a local artist who is ready to calligraph your name in Arabic. Next to the reservoir, there is the Menara Pavilion, which dates back to the 19th century. It can be visited, but the admission is paid. Inside the pavilion, there are traditional decorations and beautiful ceilings made of cedar wood. The first floor terrace offers a great view of the reservoir and the gardens.
There are a few simple eateries in the gardens, however, there are no toilets. The Anima Garden is located 30 kilometers from the center of Marrakesh, towards the High Atlas Mountains. The garden can be easily reached by a taxi or by free shuttle service included in the ticket price. Transportation there and back is organized by a special bus twice a day. In order to use it, it is necessary to book seats in advance through the Anima Garden official website. It is also a good idea to rent a car for a day and combine a visit to the Amina Garden with a visit to the picturesque Urika Valley. The Anima Garden was opened in 2016 and covers an area of nearly 3 hectares. Its creator is a Vienna-born prominent universal artist Andre Heller. The Anima Garden is a magical central place inviting to contemplation and inspiring. It is a place for everyone, regardless of age, who wants to experience something surprising and unforgettable. Sculptures of internationally famous artists, including works by Pablo Picasso, are exhibited among the greenery of the garden. The harmonious space of the garden intrigues with symbols, turning our walk into a journey through continents and cultures. There is a café in the garden, which, in addition to coffee and juices, also offers lunch dishes, all at reasonable prices. It is worth taking a look at the terrace of the café. It offers an outstanding view of the high Atlas Mountains. This was a presentation of the five most popular gardens in Marrakesh. If you want more Marrakesh, I encourage you to watch my video about top 10 places to visit in Marrakesh. I make my videos in three languages, in English, in Polish and in French, and always with useful information that will help you to plan your trips, your travels to unique places even better. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a comment, uh, give a like or subscribe to this channel to always be up to date. Uh, thanks once again and see you soon.